actually still have a unit of Grenzer ZFR in my cavalry, and I noticed that my AI friend was yet to, had yet to engage. Which is quite surprising, because usually he managed to kill himself by now. And therefore, in the comment that I think I gave him too much units. But it could be to the fact that in this map the AI seem to use their line of sight pretty well, and they, for most of the time from when I was still walking into position till the first, first confrontations, you didn't see the AI armies in the map. So they managed to send an inf infantry battalion of Grenadiers, apparently, but I don't think they take part in the, in the battle, I don't recall correct, correctly. And well, they sent a battalion of Grenzas, which will be promptly bayonet charged. To put them in their place. And there they go. Broken. Without even fighting. Well, I don't blame them. See? Their captain was killed. And now I'm advancing my right flank. Because I think one of those Grenzes. I don't know, no, no, they still are here. The Austrian Grenzes on my right flank. But I think I. Th because I'm moving them so much forward, I thought that actually they had to take a new unit there to place it here to attack. It's another amazing thing to play without flight. You don't. You missed units on the field. It's great. Ah. We know Alvital and my central rules joined, and I moved my other two infantry battalions to pour some flanking fire. This one's behind my Jaegers who are wrecking havoc. I will choose them again. I will switch your positions yet again. Now my Gracias will... I don't know why I left my Gracias here, but I, tur I charged with my Dragoons. Uh, my Osas, sorry. And they were engaged, this line infantry was tiring itself in a very long range firefight, so they would break pretty easily. They had spent their muskets, they were not paying attention, they got hit by flank. So you see they're already wavering, shaken, wavering, broken. There they go. And then I think I kept the momentum of the charge and charged the second Battalion, but this one was of Grenadiers, and I think my horses ran. Yeah. When I ordered them to charge, they started. To, they broke and ran. They were too disor disorganized to keep, keep forward the attack. But I had my Gracias in reserve, so no big deal. And as you can see, half of their attack force is already gone through the roof, so I can move my units a bit closer. And I moved especially my light infantry closer because I want them to really make these guys hurt. They are sending another grenade battalion. I gave the AI a lot, a lot of grenades, much more than than me because well they need it. Here. My Prussian ally is still moving forward with all his infantry. I think his cavalry is probably already gone. I have him lethal as well. Oh no! A unit of Gracia is here. Now my line infantry is firing at the Grenadiers and causing casualties, which is good. You know, my cavalry will regroup back here somewhere. Ah, I had a unit of cavalry who, of Gracias who, who routed, and I'm bringing her back. And actually, this is my other unit of Gracias, yes, this is not my allies. This is what's wrong with me today. Oh, I think in the meantime, a battalion. Yeah, they are trying to send a, a unit of Gracias through the forest. 
again a bad idea. The AI seems to love to do this stuff. And I ordered my crust. No, it's just. What did I order my grasses to do? They are acting like if they're attacking. Yeah, there was. Ah, must have. Now I understand what happened. There was a unit of grasses disappeared from my sight, and I didn't know what had, what had happened. Apparently, I must have clicked on this three pounder artillery by mistake, and they charged it. But it was nice because later in the game I noticed that I had them here standing. So they helped to get rid of the Austrian Santa. Now I've changed this battalion of grenadiers here to break these guys. And this one to break this. Actually this is not a battalion, it's called Converse Grenadiers. It's the commercial companies of grenadiers that the mine infantry battalions had, I think. Ah, and my artillery meanwhile is starting to also fire. Pouring some close range cannon, some long range canister, or oh, heavy canister, into the midst of the woods to try and take out some more guys. And meanwhile, these grenadiers are in for a nasty surprise. My land infantry did their work, held their own in a long, long firefight, and now my, my grenadiers catch them in their flanks. And I obviously stopped the fire at will from this unit. This is actually ordered it to move to its next position. And my Jaegers kept thinning the number of men as well. So they're still steady, but they were they are with very low cohesion and my attackers are with very high cohesion. It's a shame my localization file doesn't work. Make things more interesting. Now I'm killing these grenades that are coming through the woods and obviously sending my big force of cavalry to encircle their flank and cut them, catch them off guard. I'm moving them very slowly, as you have to. This unit of grenades is gone. Lost 160 men. I think it's more impressive if I say the numbers without the scale of 41. And a good exercise for your mind as well. So you see my troops are getting some kind of... see if you can see it on the minimap. No, it's very confusing this minimap. Napoleon Total War is a much better minimap. But they are making this shape... of... Um, it looks like it has a, a small vertice here, a small triangle in the line. Which will now be closed because now I can... this space, this area that was... This is another thing why scales are important, I don't think people stress this enough. When you have proper scaling, the proper frontage and the proper area a battalion covers is represented. That's why one of the most important aspects of scaling. So, I couldn't move my grenadiers here, not because the other grenadiers, the enemy grenadiers, were actually in this space physically, but it was in their area of intervention. And so, to, it's not just a slower speed that makes battle slower and have more flow. What the, it's also these kinds of details, like the distance covered, the area of influence where the other grenadiers could still reach and protect and cause my grenadiers some heavy losses. This is all very important for a realistic mod, so it's basically a must for any mod that calls itself realistic. It's really, really important. Look at them, reforming. And my artillery firing. Oh, you have action on the right flank, yes. They sent an attack of two battalions of line infantry, which were early under fire, and I will place my 3-pounder here and my 12-pounder here. And, well, you can guess what happens to a battalion or to a battalion when 